I just got my delivery from Newegg because I'm going to upgrade this computer to the latest specifications and a bigger hard drive. So, I'm opening the box. Okay, the first thing in the box is is a power supply. So that's a 650 watt power supply which is going into the computer. The next thing in the box is a video card. A GeForce GTX 960. So that's the main upgrade I'll be doing. And there should be in this box should be a hard drive. I'll have to grab a pair of scissors. Okay, so I've opened the tape. So if I open this box, it should be a Western Digital. It's good, it's got really good wrapping. Okay, that's it. Pull that out. There we go. Western Digital 3 terabyte hard drive. Green. Green means reliable according to Western Digital. So that's it. It doesn't come with any screws or anything. That's why I already ordered these screws on eBay for hard drives and video cards and things. So today I shall be installing everything into the computer. So that's everything there. So it's going to be quite a bit of work. But when it's done it should be good. I recently upgraded the BIOS in the Dell because I read that Dell locks their BIOS so you can't add new hardware, so I upgraded it and there's no problems when I upgrade which is good because it also shows Dell on the screen when I, when I boot up, which it never did that before, so it's good I shall find out okay, so this is the power supply, it's 650 watt the original Dell power supply is 400 and something watt which isn't big enough to handle the, um, the, the new video card and I wanted a bit of leeway because um, this has an extra hard drive that has to power so this is a new power supply EVGA is the brand I had to get the specific one that will fit my motherboard so I'll have a look in here to see if it's the correct one so there's a book, a nice book of instructions. I had to do a lot of research about this power supply. Okay, so that's the power supply. That's the bottom fan. That's the back fan and that's where the power goes. And instead of having cables running out of the chassis, it's got all um, molded plugs. So you don't have to have as many cables, you only have to have the cables that you need. So it makes it a lot neater when you um, run the wiring. So that should be just long enough to miss the audio, the audio board. Which I'll show you when I get my computer apart. 80 plus gold means it's gold rated and it's at least 80% energy efficient under load so that's why uh, when you get a power supply you get a good one the reason why I got this is because last time I upgraded my old computer I never upgraded the power supply and it eventually died so whenever you get a lot of new equipment 
and you need to measure the requirements so that's the power supply just quickly these are the cords for the power supply I doubt I'll be using them all but I'll definitely be using this motherboard one um, these CPU ones I'll be using the VGA ones I'll be using some of those this is an American plug which doesn't matter because I've already got a plug for my power supply so I don't need that um, okay it's got other other oh these I'll need these are for the SATA serial ATA connections for the hard drives and CD-ROM so okay next on the list is the video card it's an EVGA um, it says they're super clocked, so it's, they've obviously overclocked it. Um, GTX 960 GeForce video card. So I dare say So there it is. What's this? It's probably an adapter. I'd say it's a it's a power cable for the for the graphics card. There's another adapter DVI to VGA, which I don't need. So that's the video card. It takes up two slots. It's got a massive heatsink. It's got two fans. It's actually it's actually quite energy efficient. Um, it's one of the reasons I got it. Okay, I'll take the. Oh, it comes with um, comes with some stickers, some stickers to stick on your computer. Comes with the user guide, a CD. Okay, a card explaining the fan. And what else have we got? Important notices, um, power supply, advertising. Okay, so that's the video card. I won't get it out of the package because I'm not going to get it out of the package because I don't have an anti static wristband and I don't want to damage it with my static electricity. So you can see that when I, when I unpack it, and it'll just fit in my computer, it should just fit. Yes, okay. So the next upgrade I'm doing is adding a second hard drive. It's a Western Digital 3 terabyte desktop hard drive green. I'm not going to take it out of the anti-static bag until I install it. But the Dell XPS 8700, it can actually hold three hard drives in it. And two CD, CD drives. So there should be plenty of space there for it. Okay, and just as a note, the video card comes with a poster. So I'll put the poster up. Um, when Anna comes back, I might have to take it down, I don't know. I'll ask her. Okay, I've just run a benchmark for my old um, GeForce GTX 645 card on 3D Mark and the scores um, 3425 so I'm just going to compare that when I install my new card to see what the difference is okay so I'm ready to turn my computer off and um, go through what I'm going to do okay so that's my computer that's inside so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the um, the video card remove the power supply and all the cables and remove the hard drive bay. Okay, once I'm going to do that, I'm first going to install install the new hard drive in the hard drive bay. Then I'm going to install the power supply or the video card. I haven't decided yet, whichever is easiest. So um, yeah, I guess I'll get started taking everything apart. So. That's my anti-static wristband that I've got on. 
I've got if you're wondering why the power cord is still plugged in the earth I've got the power point off but the earth in the um, cord is attached to the power point to, to show all the electricity from my body and gets goes through doesn't um, cause any damage so that's why that's all there so the first thing to do to remove the graphics card I've got to take out the um, the screw for the bay there once I take that out I can take the screw for the graphics card out and there's a little clip down here there's a little clip down here and I just clip that out and the graphics card should just pull out okay that was simple enough so I just took out the bay and then removed the um, the graphics card the graphics cards now over there got some cobwebs on it and dust so the next thing would be to take out the the hard drive bay and um, and install the new hard drive okay so that's the hard drive that's it there so it, it slots into this hard drive bay basically turn it upside down and it slides into this hard drive bay like that so it's like that and then the holes screw into the side which is four screws okay so the new hard drives bolted in so it's just a matter of sliding it back in the um, the cage and doing up the screws so the next step is to remove the power supply and replace it with this one so I've got all the cables apart so all I need to do now is take the four screws out of the back and the power supply should come out okay so there's the power supply it's an ATX power supply so it should fit the new one should fit and line up with the screw holes those clips there it'll probably won't clip into those it doesn't need to because um, it's probably a bit bigger bit longer than the original before I do that I have to work out which cables for the old power supply so I work out um, it's out of focus sorry uh, I don't think it's focusing okay so I have to work out um, which cables I need to plug into here and um, find out which cable I need for the new graphics card so I'll do that before I before I put the power supply in because it'll be difficult to get my hand in and plug them in okay I've got all the power cables I don't know if you can see got, a torch. got all the power cables into the power supply that I need it was quite a struggle fitting the power supply in and quite a struggle getting my hands in and doing all the cables but um, all the cables are ready to be plugged in now so I've just got to plug them in and then I'm going to install the graphics card okay so now <clears throat> I remove the protective coating off the graphics card so you just take that off probably need two hands so I'll take the protective the off and then, and then I'll try and fit it inside the computer then connect the cable okay so I've got the video card installed I had to change one of the serial ATA cables for a longer one which I had because it wouldn't fit underneath the graphics card so I've got the power plugged in the graphics card I've got it secured into the computer cables are tied up out of the road so the next step is to plug it in and see if anything comes up on the screen in a perfect world it should load windows okay so I've got everything connected a new power supply a new video card and an extra hard drive 
all the cables all connected so all I can do now is turn it on and see if anything happens okay thank god I plugged it into the TV using HDMI and it works so now I just have to install the drivers and get the video card driver working and see how I go from there okay so while the um the software is downloading for the video card I've opened disk management as you can see there's a three terabyte disk one unallocated so I'll have to format that into a partition and then the hard drive will be ready to use okay so I'm ready to format the new hard drive I've selected M drive for media and the volume label is media um, NTFS, NTFS and the allocation unit size I chose the largest one at 64k because it'll be storing large files like like videos and sound and pictures so that'll make the hard drive faster so I chose that so I chose a didn't want to do a quick format because I want to do a good format to start with so I click next Okay, you've successfully completed this format wizard. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, so I click finish. So that'll work in the background. And it'll it'll be interesting how long it takes to format three terabytes. So I could be here to mid midnight, so I've, I've installed the graphics card driver so it all checks out in the device manager it says it's the right card and it's got the latest driver so I might do a um, benchmark and see how it compares to my old video card okay I've just run a graphics benchmark and my old V my old graphics card uh, the GTX 645 got 3425 my new graphics card, the GTX 960, got 10,484. So that's more than, that's way more than double, double the the power, the computing power. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm just going to wait until it's finished formatting now, and then I can start to transfer my files over to the um the 3 terabyte hard drive okay so the monitor's working now so I guess it was installing the driver installing the the um, the software for the video card so I'm glad it works yeah so that's good okay so I'm all done and that's the end of how to upgrade a computer with a graphics card, a power supply and a 3 terabyte hard disk drive.